often get asked by people, you know, how I do my vision boards. And I, you know, once upon a time used to cut images out of magazines and do all, do it that way, you know, old school way of, you know, putting on pieces of paper on it. You know, it's still really nice if you're a very kinesthetic person to actually do things that way. But um, in the last few years, I found myself uh, doing my vision boards and my dream boards slightly different. So I thought it was time that I, I made a video and shared that with you to show you exactly what I do because I actually collect images from the internet and actually put them together um, using a piece of software which is free um, and so stay tuned I'm going to show you exactly how you do that in this video. First thing you need to do though before you even start thinking about um, putting this together is find a little bit of quiet time for you, you know, take some precious moments for yourself to really think about what is it that you want to achieve in business and in life this year, how do you want to look, how do you want to feel, what is going to be taking place for you in the next 12 months so it's really important that you spend a little bit of time doing that. Then it's time to you know start getting to the good bit and start actually searching for some images that can represent what it is that you're after the goals so that you can visually represent that and you know it's very powerful to be seeing that all the time you know and just visually affirming that into your brain looking at it every single day it's a key that you're actually looking at these images and the internet is really the best place for you to find these amazing images because there's nowhere else that you're going to find pretty much anything that you want and i you know, my experience shows that I, I usually can find almost spot on the image that is actually in my brain. Whatever it is that I'm seeking, I usually find on the internet. Where do I look for these pictures? Find your images, Google, Pinterest, Flickr. Really, we are so spoilt for choice in terms of inspiration for this sort of stuff. So this is not something that you're obviously using commercially in your business. So, you know, it's just for your own personal use. So it's totally cool if you want to just go and Google and, and take images that way. But Obviously, if it was something that you were going to use commercially in your business, then you need to be paying for images. But for this particular exercise, because it's for your own use and you're just using it to stimulate your brain and to have some inspiration for yourself, it's totally cool. Just, you know, jump onto places like Google, Pinterest, Flickr, and just start looking for images that inspire you. You know, when you're doing this, I want you to start asking yourself questions like, you know, where would you want to live? Like, what is your house like? What is the environment uh, like? Is it... You know, is it crazy, colourful, noisy, or is it peaceful, calm, zen-like? You know, is it got water around it, or is it, you know, in the city? Is it, you know, surrounded by green? Like, where do you want to live? You know, what do you do for work? You know, how how is is it? Are you running your own business? Where do you want to work from? Who are the types of clients you're going to work with, or who are your customers? You know, start thinking about. How is it, you know, you're going to run your business and how, how is that business going to be for you day to day? How much do you, money do you want to earn? You know, this is a really important question. You need to start getting really clear um, whether you're starting out in business or whether you're already established. Like how much money do you really want to make? And I actually find, you know, writing specific figures down is actually super, super important. So start getting super clear on the types of dollars that you want to see flowing into your bank account. So... Um, you know, how much money do you want to earn? Start writing the numbers down. Start getting really clear on those things. How do you want to look after your body? What are the sorts of things that you're going to do? What are the activities? How will you move? How will you take care of you? How will you nourish yourself? You know, this is all about looking after you. How are you going to start showing yourself some self-love this year? You know, when you look after yourself, everything else is just really a reflection of how you're going with that particular task. So make that one of your top priorities this year and start putting some, some images and inspiration for how you might like to show yourself some self-love this year and look after you because you are the most important part of your universe. How many holidays do you want to take? Where do you want to travel? You know, is there somewhere that you particularly are you know, keen to go? Is there just a particular feeling that you want to have? Maybe you just want to Put down anything that makes you feel free because you know perhaps freedom is just what's really important for you but make sure you're searching and putting those sorts of images in you know what's a typical day like for you in your business who are the people that you work with what do you wear how do you feel in your business what are you surrounded by when you actually work in your business think about how it all makes you feel the emotions that it evokes how does the office structured do you even have an office you know maybe you just have a co-working space or maybe you just work out at a cafe get really specific on what you want 
who are you surrounded by? You know, are you surrounded by loved ones? Is it a partner? You know, is it your kids? Perhaps it's a new pet or it's a very, you know, it's your pet that you've currently got. You know, put pictures there. Make sure that you're including the things that make your heart sing. Okay, once you've got all your images together, we're going to use a piece of software called Picasa. And in a moment, I'm going to show you how you can put all your images and just a click, basically, create your vision board and have it ready to share anywhere. So let's, let's take a look. So once you've got all your images together, you've collected everything that inspires you and makes your heart sing, you can actually download Google Picasso. And that's a free download, so if you just search Casa on Google, it'll come up and you literally just download that onto your computer and you can actually put, you know, make a folder and put all your images together in a folder. You can see here that I've, I've entitled my folder, this is for the, this dream board video that I'm putting together. Um, and you'll see once all the photos are in there, there's, there's these options up here and you can actually just click here to create a photo collage and it will literally do it all for you and there's you know there's lots of different things that you can play around with here to you know change things around depending on how you want it to look and feel you can shuffle pictures if you weren't quite happy with how it's done it you know so you can keep doing that until you find a vision board that really speaks to you you know your your intuition just tells you yes that's it that's the one you can basically save that and the great thing about this is you can literally put that anywhere like uh, you can share it you know I had that as my I have it as my screensaver because I've done this for the last couple of years you know whenever I feel that my dream board needs zhuzhing up you know I've often manifested the things um, that you know that have come in and maybe I want to change it around a little bit I, I just come straight into the car so I, I set up new images and I set up a new vision board for myself and you can share that across all your devices because I think and this is my opinion that one of the most important parts of having a dream board it's just like having a plan in business it's it's all very well to have it but if you're not constantly going back and actually looking at it and checking in and reminding yourself of the things that you want to do the things that are important and actually just checking in it's really just a waste of time so it's so important that you place just like a plan in business you place this somewhere where you can see it day in day out and you're actually just reminding yourself all the time of all the things that you're working towards and the way that you want to feel in your life. It's so important. Be happy, be safe, have an amazing year. Thanks for checking this out. I'll catch you soon.